Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, I have a really cool product from Shark. It is the Shark Apex Liftaway Vacuum. It's one of their newest vacuums and it's supposed to be super powerful and it's supposed to uh, help clean itself. But I have a house with four girls in it. They have long hair and a cat. So I'm interested to see how well, uh, you know, if I have to do any kind of cleaning and how well it handles long hair. You don't have to worry about that from me. Also, I want to see how well it uh, works on a little bit longer carpet and hardwood floors. So I'm pretty excited to try, uh, try this out. So let's get started. Hey, welcome back. That was a quick unboxing we did here, but this vacuum, I'm super excited to try it out. I like the fact here that you can um, do it kind of a self uh, cleaning. I guess you're supposed to, you can open this lid and you will be able to clean out this roller system right here. I want to find out if I can detach this roller and take this roller off because sometimes, you know, that might get some hair or string wound up. So I want to see how easy it is to detach there. Also, I want to find out how it handles with long human hair and cat hair. And last but not least, I want to see how well it handles on carpet versus hardwood floors. So I'm pretty excited. Let's go try it out. We just spent the whole day with the vacuum cleaner, isn't that right, Lucas? Yeah. And what do you think of the vacuum cleaner? It's super good to clean I just love it. <laughs> you know, when I first got this, I was worried because we have a lot of long human hair, a lot of girl hair in this household. Not our hair, right? We got short hair. But yeah. The, but we got four girls in this household. And, yeah, like you. And they got long hair. We also have cat hair. Um, but um, I was more worried about the, uh, the girl hair because with my other vacuum cleaners, I always had to take the needle nose pliers and try to cut that out with the scissors and pull it out with the needle nose pliers. And this was happening every week and it, it, was, it was quite the chore. So I put this vacuum to the test on the hardwood floors, it, it handled awesome. Uh, they have a hardwood floor setting on this. Is that the bottom and then the regular floor and then the other floor? And on the other floor? Mm -hmm. It has all different sections. Yeah. When we were vacuuming the hardwood floor, Lucas was able to go underneath some of the furniture. How was that, Lucas? Good. It was handled pretty easily. You could get right underneath there. We also like the lights on this vacuum cleaner. Because it, you can also do it at night when you have the lights on. That's right. So Lucas is really excited about using this vacuum cleaner at night because it lights up the whole hallway. Yeah. So when we were doing carpet in the hallway, how do you think it handled there? Um, good. It handled good. We had one problem with the vacuum cleaner. It kept shutting off. And but so, we but we fixed it because because we realized this was like like it was like a kind of off. This hose right here is not connected. It won't start. It won't run. It'll shut off. So um, just make sure that all your hoses are connected, you know, nice and tight. And when we are doing the hallway, it handled really nice. You can get really close to the walls and get all that that little dirt that might be right in the edge. Then we took it to the living room, and the living room has a little bit longer um, uh, carpet fiber. Oh, and also, before we took it to the living room, I was amazed because this canister was already full. On my other Shark, uh, shark vacuum cleaners, um, I could clean, out the, clean the whole house and it only took one canister. And this is a good size one. But this thing really sucks. <laughs> it really, you know, gets a lot of dirt. Yeah, it gets so dirt so fast. So fast. And so I had to empty this halfway through 
and then we did the living room with had a little bit longer carpet fiber and we put it all the way to the top all the way to the top um, because there's a setting uh, you got your hardwood floor you got your your you know your carpet and then you got your higher carpet and that's what we did we put that setting all the way to the top mm -hmm. we how did it handle in the in the living room good i thought it handled awesome in the living room now i was a little concerned because all my other shark vacuum cleaners and the other vacuum cleaners I had were terrible on human hair. So we took it outside. We took the top off, yep. looked at the rollers, hardly any hair on the rollers. There's, you know, uh, there's a thread there and just a little bit of hair. I just pulled out, you know, with the, with the uh, needle nose pliers, but how easy of an access it is to get that hair. I, um, I also, um, and, and I'm talking like just a couple pieces of hair and it would probably have eventually gone into the vacuum cleaner. We turned it over. We were able to take off the front roller, right, mm -hmm. Lucas? And it's e so easy to clean. I mean, all the filters on this, super easy to clean. So easy. So easy. So I highly recommend this vacuum cleaner. What do you think? Good. Good. So we we had a good time. The vacuum cleaner, you know, was easy, even easy for Lucas to be able to uh, clean the house. Yeah, it's so light. To turn it, you just have to tip it over. And then it turns. It turns. Hey, we're going to have a link down below where you can find this on Amazon. I definitely give this two thumbs up because this is an awesome product. Very happy. I'm, I'm curious to see how long this is going to last. Uh, my other shark vacuum cleaners, I had them last about maybe three or four years, but this has great suction. It's getting a great review on Amazon. I'm super excited. Can't wait until the next time I have to vacuum the house. That's how excited I am. Hey, I hope you're having a fun day. Check out that link down below. Make sure you subscribe. And I got a lot of other cool videos on here. Adios. Have a fun day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.